there's kind of been this weird boom of nostalgia for older technology lately. Is it because we're appreciating their simplicity compared to what we have today, or is it because we're scared that even our toaster is going to start showing us unskippable ads? Regardless, from new video games using graphical styles inspired by console limits of the past, to the sudden return of vinyl records and even cassette tapes, the aesthetics of old technology have been making a bit of a comeback. A pretty common one I've seen in retro-inspired games and some videos here and there has been a scanline effect, meant to replicate the look and feel of those old CRT monitors from back in the day. When it comes to video editing or animation, it is possible to recreate this effect in After Effects. However, from what I've seen, people tend to way overcomplicate this process or require you to download special plugins or templates, usually to put money in their pocket. <laughs> but what if I told you there's a quick, simple way for you to recreate this effect for yourself? Open up After Effects, hope Adobe hasn't cursed your computer, and we can get started. For this video, I'm going to be messing around with a bit of Shovel Knight footage I recorded. For a game that's so dedicated to sticking with the classic 8-bit style to the point where it has an intentionally limited color palette and music that can apparently work on an NES, it doesn't really have any other options to set the mood, like a scanline or CRT effect compared to something like Fighting Rage, for example. To begin with our scanline effect, provided you already have your footage imported and any last minute adjustments taken care of, you're going to want to right click and create a new adjustment layer, of course placed on top of your footage. Within it, we're going to go to Effects, Generate, and Add a Grid. This grid, believe it or not, is going to be the base for our scan lines. On the Size From option, change it to Width and Height sliders. So now, you can mess with the values until you get a clear stream of horizontal lines across the screen. Select this anchor point and move it off the screen to get this vertical line out of the way. To intensify the effect or make it a bit more subtle, you can adjust the height values to increase or decrease the amount of lines on screen, and adjust the border to change how thick the lines are. You can adjust this until it looks right for you. In this case, for authenticity with anything that has to do with the 8 or 16-bit pixel art style, you should try to aim for a result that aligns with them somewhat, with every other row of pixels having the scan lines, kind of like an actual CRT TV. From there, you can change the blending mode to normal and see how the lines look on screen. This is something you can do to see your current work, and how many lines there are on the footage. If you see all these white lines, this does not mean you have applied the effect incorrectly. If you want your scan lines to have a more darkened look, which is more accurate, need to color a bit gray and set the blending mode to multiply. If you want brighter for a bit of flare, keep it at white and set the blending mode to overlay. Just go with whatever looks best to you or fits your project. And now you have your own scanline effect that can easily be made and implemented onto any footage as you see fit. What I like about the scanline effect is that you can easily combine it with other types of video effects in order to really bring together that retro monitor feel, such as that warped bulging look you'd see on a CRT TV, or the static flicker in a pixelated text of a VHS tape. But I'd say that's a video for another day, so... Anyways, happy holidays and best wishes to you and your families, no matter what you celebrate. And as usual, catch you next time. Hopefully with a slightly more consistent upload schedule.